Bitch, I'm good. I'm gagging. Oh, bitch, I'm gagged. Welcome back to my project, the Queer. My love the Queer is all up in his game back for another video. And today's video, girl, is about to be on Queer Slang. But before I start on this Queer Slang thing, I'm gonna let you know that Queer Slang started off by people of color who are also queer. They were the ones that started all of this, so if you got it twisted and you think that it's like, you know, a creation by white gay men. You got it twisted and you do your goddamn history. But let's get started, boo. First word in... Some of these words are used by drag queens. A lot of drag queens be using these words. And apparently my gay card has been taken because either I don't know, I don't know a person's music, I don't know these shows, I don't know this, I don't watch what calls drag grades in my like in my like exiles, like what's happening. Let me know. First word is fishy. Fish fish. Fishy. <laughs> I cracked myself up. There's something wrong with me. Fishy is being very feminine. See, Seeming like feminine, femininity, like, oh, she's so fishy, fishy, like passing. Especially with like drag queens, like, oh, she's passing, she's fishy. Second word on the list is gagging. Bitch, I'm gagged. I'm gagging. Oh, bitch, I'm gagged. Like, I can't take no more. I'm gagged. This is popping. Like, I've heard gag several ways, okay? The def the thing on that I found said gagging was like loving something. I agree, it's like you're loving, you're living for it. But when I hear gagging, I think of, bitch, I'm gagging. Like she just got dragged. Oh, the gag, I'm gagging is too much tea, the boiling tea, hot, sizzling, bubbling. Ooh, girl, burn tea, tongue burned. That's what I think about when gagging, like, ooh, it's too much. Mm, like, gratification or like getting some some positive feelings about ooh, what's happening what's the tea girl and this goes perfect into the next word word number three kiki let's have a kiki i want to have a kiki let's have a kiki what, what, how does it go something something let's have a kiki i've never seen that so am i also remote from that from the community because i don't know what that is i'm gonna look it up i know the word kiki but i know like a little song when they're voguing and stuff but i need to do better what i'm not sure Kiki is let's gossip. Let's, let's girl, come here. Come here. Let's talk. Like that's like girl, tell me the tea. Let's Kiki. I feel like and I'm probably wrong, like I said <laughs> again. Kiki to me is like give me the tea before the tea had arrived, you know? It's like Kiki was the old tea. Mmm. Give me that tea. Give me that Kiki. Let's talk. Let's have that Kiki. Word number four, not today, Satan. First, I heard this and I was like, this is queer lingo? This is, what, what? I did not know that this is queer lingo. I thought it was, this was just like some, it probably has some religious history to it. I don't know, or maybe not. I, <laughs> let me know in the comments because apparently I just don't know anything and that's why I'm doing this. So, not today, Satan, it's like, don't cross me. And the person who's most famous for for saying not today Satan is Bianca del Rio. Not today Satan. Mm -mm. Not on this good holy day. Do not try me. Not today. A little dusty, but it's fine, you know? Word number five is queen. Yes, queen. Slay. Work queen. Like work. Slay. And it's typically used to describe a gay man. In a, like it's an affectionate way to do it but it's not exclusive only to gay men like, yes queen yes I use sometimes I say yes sis slay me yes fuck it up girl yes sis do it right drop it low pick it up like I'm extra as hell and I do a little too much but you know what I mean you get like that you get that mm, let me know like the the queer blood just starts boiling like I, I just know I'm about to be you know served some good shit some good queer shit be served. And service should be another word that I'm gonna do in the second portion of this video though. So I got you. Word number six is read. Or in the past tense, read. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones. Ooh. Read her. 
Read her, like read them. Read him. Like reading, like to insult, but not outright. Like to let you know like, oh bitch, I'm, I'm gonna read you. I wanna, oh, she's trying me. I wanna read her, I wanna read him. I will read you. I've said read like 500 times. Girl, I read her last night. What happened? Give me, let's have a kiki. Huh? Let's see what I did there. Let's have, oh girl, let's have a kiki. Tell me how you read them. Ooh, and then that goes into the next one. Girl, you threw some shade. Shade is the word, the last word is shade. Shade, it says, it said hateful or bitchy. I, uh, I was trying to define this and I didn't know how to define shade. But I don't know, I don't think it's, <clears throat> at times it can be hateful if it's like, you know, going a little too far. But I think that shade is like, First thing that came to my head was like so, like subtle, like you throwing shade at someone about something that they're probably not thinking about immediately that moment until they catch up and they're like, oh shit, you just tried my whole existence. You tried that, you, I gave you some, we had a kiki, I gave you this nice little tea about me. Now that I'm trying you, you're trying me, of course, because we got to throw the shade. Oh yes. Yes. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna make this another segment. I'm gonna make this multiple videos because there's always so much. Because, you know, LGBTQ plus people, sexual and gender minorities, we stay living it up. We stay trying to cover up our own shit by living a good, funny life. If you get what I mean? Because we funny. We funny as hell. And if you think I'm funny as hell, why don't you subscribe to this channel then? Damn. See you on the next video. And as always, be true, stay true to yourself, because only you know who you are. Don't let these hoes try you. Bye-bye.